In this InfoPath 2007 clip, we'll take a tour of the application's interface. We'll learn how and when key features become available to us, and we'll see how easy it is to use InfoPath as both an electronic form designer and as a client application for filling out forms. Here we see the Getting Started window that appears when InfoPath is first launched. In the center are icons of sample forms and options to change how we view them. Over on the left, options for choosing categories of forms. The last four forms we've worked on, plus a way to open forms saved on our computer. And at the bottom, options to use if we want to design a form. Over on the right, form tasks to select from that will apply to the selected form on the screen. Now, let's close this window and see the basic InfoPath interface when no form is open. Notice the toolbars with pretty standard options. These options will change depending on the type of form we're working on. Let's reopen the Getting Started window by clicking the Fill Out a Form button on the standard toolbar. Now, we'll select one of the forms from the previously opened list and watch the changes to the toolbars. For instance, we now have a Submit button. That's because this form is meant to have the completed field data submitted to someone. Scroll down and we also see a Submit button on the form itself. Our interface has a message bar along the bottom of the window that will show us the path to our currently open form, or form compatibility information when we're designing forms. Come up and click File and Close, which will close the current form but keep InfoPath open, as opposed to using the red X in the upper right corner of the window, which will exit out of InfoPath. The Getting Started window reappears automatically. This time, we'll choose the Status Report sample, and from the Form Tasks options, click Design This Form. Again, notice the changes to the toolbars, including the appearance of a new Tables toolbar. If we look up at the window's title bar, we'll see that we're now in Design Mode. And look to the right of our workspace, there's now a Design Tasks task pane. This groups tasks that we'll be using as we design forms. Select a task like Controls, and we see how easy it is to access and insert different controls into our forms. Click Design Tasks towards the top of the pane, and we're back to our list of tasks. We can click the X in the upper right corner of the pane to close it. And to bring it back, click the View menu and select Task Pane. Incidentally, the task pane is context sensitive, meaning it'll offer appropriate options based on the form we're working on at the time. And with that, we've learned our way around the InfoPath 2007 interface.